Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, well, we finished up the Twilight Bell much easier than I had the first time I was trying it. In this part, well, it looks like we've got a bunch of these poison lands that we have to go after. Uh, we can see four. One there. One there. Three. And I, I can just assume there's one back on that side. And I bet you they're each going to be kind of themed to how the other one was. So first things first, let's start with the ice axe. It looks like this one makes the most sense. It's got some great atmosphere. Look at that. Thunder striking and all that. Fun, fun sense. The bird pass fork. I don't remember going that other path, so let's go through this path. You can already see it looks a lot more menacing now. There's little fires starting. But we're handling it a lot smoother than we did the first time. And that's because it's a, it looks like there's a lot more at risk this time. We want to head to the left, which should lead us towards... Yeah, the plant. And I think that's what the thing is going to be. It's going to be all the overworld areas heading towards these things. Wow, there's an increasing shock damage and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. I've got to admit, this was a nice finale for this big, open, peaceful area is to, well, now it's going to be lightning striking to make the area more difficult and other things changing up. Like, look at that, we have those new platforms to work with that we couldn't have had earlier. And what do we see? It's just that we see it. Oh, it's attacking us. Interesting. So this is the boss. It's not a single entity. It is a bunch of these flower things. I don't know, and if we get close to these guys, they'll probably want to attack us again. But the problem is they're not blue. So how are we going to hit them? A few hits and it breaks it and clears the storm from this portion. And then we retreat. The thing to remember is, oh, I was going to say this guy is still going to be here, but no. Uh, they're incapacitated of their own areas once you've taken out the enemies. So, actually, let's switch to the sprint hat and oh, take advantage of the uh, additional speed. That didn't work how I wanted it to. Where are you going to respawn? beginning. I'll take it. I mean, I had to head back there anyways, so if you want to respawn me, I'll take it. Our next goal, let's head towards, uh, well, the Twilight Bells one, I would think. That went much smoother on the way back than I was doing. So you can see, oh, I didn't see one on the Twilight Bells area. I guess it's because of what we did last, we just doesn't have a middle ground. But, let's head over to this next one then. All paths have been opened, so these horns are pretty useless at this point. But it's a good place to stand and take advantage. We've got one there and one on the fire. Let's head to the fire first. We still do have our, um, well, prevent instant death fall badge on. 
I think this one's going to be one of the harder ones because remember these spiders were going to, were an uh, annoyance to go through the first time we did. So I'm looking forward to seeing how well this goes. The sizzling of lava spread. And it's going to be different now since... Oh, I didn't get a good look as I was going. I should have uh, done it differently. Such as... Ooh, we can look through these? Oh, no, that only really gives us the lava... It doesn't give us too much of help for uh, the upcoming area. Like, it didn't even give me the option to go to the only safe platform of the area. <laughs> we died again. Oh well. This does remind me a lot of, in the Mafia Town, the lava area. It's gonna just go all the, the... So the question is, when I died, did that one respawn? No, we just have the one on that side to deal with. So, I guess, I would still think it's going to be four of these um, things, because that, that's how the area was built. It was built with four different ones in mind. Four different areas. The Twilight Bell not being one of them is a bit surprising. Okay, how am I supposed to continue from here? Because, like... It's it's not giving me the the option. There it is, finally. I think these ones needed work. That's all I can say about these guys. So see, look at it. Half the time, because you're bouncing in the angle you're bouncing. It's not giving you a path you can take. So. Um, I don't know. I'm glad I did this one second, because it should allow me to do the last part much smoother. And sometimes it just ignores your inputs. Though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chalk that up to my error for the ignoring the inputs. because it's it's more likely to be on me than the game just not wanting to accept my uh, clip. Like, I may have clicked too early or something. That's all I can really see, and I can't put that on the game's fault. Well, I guess we gotta go this way for the lava cave. There's the nice um, purple plant, where you can see it right there in the corner. However, there's also an item up in this area still, that we did not get earlier. And I don't know if that's just because we I did this area too quickly, or it wasn't unlocked until... I doubt it's a situation where it wasn't unlocked until... It's more likely to be uh, something that was up on top of these guys that I didn't get a chance to get at earlier. Ah, huh? and there it is, it looks like. I don't see how I can make that jump. Um, maybe something that is needed for it is broken. But even then, that seems unlikely. We'll have to check it again uh, when the place is recovered. When we're doing time rests. But there it is, our next uh, offensive flower. It's hitting us with like nukes. Fine nukes. Interesting. Oh, he 
he's, he's trying to hit us. Uh, but I feel like we have made it. The second one is down. Now, on our way out, I think we should take a look, see if we can um, get that treasure. Because, I mean, worst case, we can't. Um, and we're no worse off than we were before, because we were planning on just totally jumping off a cliff to get the uh, health back. Since I know we're not going to survive most of this platform elements, especially for. Which part didn't we do yet? The bird cage? No, we did birds. Uh, it's the other one that we hadn't done. Plus, that looks like yarn, and I could use some more yarn. Okay, so you can't just... Yeah, I don't have a solution to get up this area right now. Oh, sorry, you would have taken damage when you landed, so we just made it so you didn't land. I, I guess that's a solution, but I don't know if I'd call it the best solution. Alright, uh, we need to go down to this thing. that'll send us back to the main area and we can head towards the final path. Oh. Sizzling lava split. Oh, no. It's unheard of. How could we do anything now? Where's you spawning me now? You are spawning me at the beginning of the split, which is perfect. Let's escape. I know I'm using death warps a bit too much, even for my own liking, but uh, in an area like this, I'm already falling so much, I'm not too, too upset about it. And if it's going to save us like three to five minutes of me falling to my death, I think it's worth it in the long run. So we're off towards, I think that blue um, one, actually. Oh. So we're actually right over here, should be the last one. Oh, and they give us... Uh, oh, oh, really good. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with this left one. In hopes that it's the right... Because uh, the other one... Does it, does it go... More towards it? Yeah, it's, it's looking like it is. Let's head back, we gotta go to the other direction now. I'm a bit excited, because once this finale is done, that will be the main part of the game. Uh, we will have finished all of the like acts of each area. Because I think this is the last timepiece that isn't in a direct like that isn't like a time rift out of the way. Um, except for the very end of the game finale. I mean, we're not doing the finale immediately. Uh, our next goal is for certain going to be... Um, to get the rest of the time rifts. I don't want to leave the game partially completed. He hit us last time. He hit us this time. Uh, not really, I guess. Like, these poison guys are put in really good spots uh, for what they're doing. Because their entire purpose is really to... Oh, and they actually have the poison blocking off some of these areas. I like it. That is uh, the way to go. But there it is. The, what I think is final flower. You can see, oh, it's got the roots. Uh, it has got the uh, projectiles. And it's got some... Ooh. And it's got some of those pink cloudy ones that we've already been walking into, so it's going to be the most well-defended flower. 
unfortunately. Over on the fortunate side. Oh, are we already down back to the bottom? That is the that is unfortunate. But, I mean, we're almost there. I can deal with a little more um, backtracking at this point. If it means it's the end. Because we've got full health, we're headed up to what's going to be the final confrontation with these plants. I, I'm excited. Oh yeah, and I have Sprint Hat on, which I think I should take advantage of. Oh, what the... Ah, uh, I apparently took too much advantage of the Sprint Hat and sprinted myself really far out of the way. And it doesn't even put me back into the fight area, it just goes, okay, you can boost out at the very beginning of the area. Which, I mean, in that case, we'll take a hit, get back full health, and try again. Because that guy takes a lot of, like, gives us a lot of damage. But yeah, 25 uh, time pieces is what we needed to unlock the last area of our ship. Uh, which is, fittingly, the final confrontation area. So, I am excited to see that, even though we won't be going after it till we have all of our fuel, since I think 40 is not going to be enough for us to finish the game. I'm sorry, 25. Well, I guess it'd be 26 now. I don't think 26 is going to be enough for us to finish the game. Looks like we actually might be able to make the jump just by going rooftop to rooftop and not have to worry about these. Yeah, we did not have to worry about the um, giant vines again after. But with that, that is all of the areas done. Oh, really? That's it done. I thought there would be a fort. Again. The goats have come to their senses. I don't really but... understand it, but I assume we have you to thank. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was all me. No one else. We did. found this in a cluster of those flowers after they wilted again. You were pretty insistent on going after the others, so I guess it belongs to you. Uh, thank you for helping us. And we helped out the people of the skyline. Um, no, Alpine skyline giving us the last of the timepieces from the main quests. Let me just jump off the cliff now. Number 26 has been acquired. However, that we're not done. We still have a lot of a time rifts off to the side in each of them. Here we go! And, well, a little clip at the end of this. The finale clip. Loading that up. We have an intruder. All right, I'm in. I made it. I infiltrated that kid's spaceship without the alarms going off. You know, except for that one that literally just went off saying intruder alert. Otherwise, yeah, no alarm. I bet she's collected a ton more time pieces than I have. Now, where does she keep her? This actually sounds like a beautiful plan. You let your enemy go collect all the stuff, and then you just break in at the end. Uh, and grab what we need. We can't go in here. All of these areas seem to be locked. Which means we just have to head up to... Jackpot! This, must be this where big she vault. Them all. This must be where she stores them. Mess with time a little. So a nice little uh, mustache girl time piece. Uh, I don't know if this is possible to do without... Uh, 
what's it called? Beating all of the, like, because if I ignored the boss battle in the first area, I think I can get enough that everything balances out. So, looking out this window, you can see it's now all lava -y. Not what we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to just show off one of like, the little changes that have happened thanks to it being the finale. Uh, and it's mainly so that it stops telling us about it. This is... Mafia Town and the entirety thing. You can still see on the moon there seems to be a nice outpost, but everything else is lava. So she turned back on all the faucets. In the next part, we are going to ignore this beautiful lava scene in front of us in favor of collecting our last 14 items to save our way home. Thank you guys for watching this part. Oh. Um, a hat in time, we cleared the Alpine skyline, and hopefully the rest of the parts are going to go bang bang bang, nice and short because they're time rips for the most part, and we'll be in a nice uh, path to the end. Have a great night everyone.